Hello and welcome to another one of our product review videos. So today we're going to be looking at a aluminium Venetian blind made by Gardinia. It looks like a uh, designed in Germany and this particular uh, model is 120 across um, by 130 centimeters down. We don't need it as long but that was what's available in and included is what this is what you get in the box. Get it's from, it's that from little a, thing there is to for the swivel stick. That little thing there that's been indicated is that little thing here, which pushes in, pushes in, it screws in. Um, it was an Amazon's choice, and normally Amazon Amazon's choice stuff is Trying decent. Right. So if you think about buying this, then this is what we're making a video for, and hopefully it's some help. So it comes with the comes with some instructions in different languages. It's fairly fairly easy but we'll just assess the quality of the product in this video Comes how easy it was to put up. safety call package yeah uh, we don't need it because we haven't got small children but it yeah does if you need it so three brackets and um, what i've left this left this one open a little bit you screw them in yeah and then you hook the blind onto them and push that back when it's in the open position it's on the right when it's closed it's on the left real easy to fit okay thing i would say to you if you're buying a blind, and this is only from experience, if it comes with like plastic end fittings that the ends go into, people know what I mean if they've seen them. So like they, they, you put the blind in it and then you, they're like a thing they fit and then you slide blind. something to keep it, yeah. They tend to be the cheaper ones and tend to, you don't get on so well with them, that's all I'm saying. Okay. But depending what, if it's in a room that you never use, it'll be fine. But a good sign of quality is, is it's like metal brackets always. Okay, we've got the swivel stick. I call it swivel stick, so you can do what you want with it. Clean so it. So obviously it's very easy to use. Um, so we've got the mechanism there. And you pull to the left, and you pull your blind up. And yeah, focusing on that. And if you want to stop it at any position, so I'll drop it down a bit, you just go back to the right, and that locks it off. Okay, so and just... let's drop it to the floor, well, to the windowsill. There we go. There's not a lot to say apart from it. Uh, it's good quality, good paint finish. Um, I'd buy another one. So let's look at the paint finish on it. Good, good, good thing of that. It's not. It's nice. It's a nice finish. It's aluminium. The cord. I would say the cord is a little bit thicker on this than one we've previously had. Um, yeah, it's, it's not. The, this is a four foot, 120 yeah. centimeters. It covers the glass. It's just a quick solution for us. Um, for those who are saying, well, it doesn't fit, yeah, it doesn't. If you've got a longer one, um, you'd need to cut it back there and trim the edges up with a thing, but to be honest. Oh, yeah, there is a little bit of it, but that's just our, you know, you don't, yeah, you can buy you one, but, but it's just. But it's a very smooth yeah. uh, mechanism on it for sure. Look. The UPVC window frame is covers that anyway, so. Yeah. So I'd give it 10 out of 10. Yeah. How much was it? Uh, tw about 24 pounds, Amazon's pounds. choice. Uh, yeah, it's worth the extra money because we bought another one for about 17 quid and that was absolutely hopeless. Yeah. So if you're thinking about buying one of these and hopefully this review is of some use. Um, uh, what will you need? You'll need, uh, it comes with raw plugs, it comes with screws. So you need a masonry drill bit. It's, I don't know what size it on there because uh, we haven't used instructions, just on it, about six mil. Um, and a, a drill that will cut to masonry. Um, I've managed to drill straight into the sill. If you can't drill straight into the sill, don't worry about that. Get a thin piece of wood to batten and drill that in. Um, that'll give you a bit of support. Uh, you can even stick wood these days, but batten the width of that on the top there. Um, and you'll need uh, a posi drive end for your drill or by hand just to put your screws in. Uh, and that's it really. Anyway, if you like the video and it's been some assistance to you, uh, help us along a bit and subscribe, please. We'd appreciate that. Um, thank you.